do that, all that, but we'll do some gear. All right, so this is this. I'm gonna clip this out for for a video. I think I think I'll have to speed it up and shit. But we'll we'll go through the fashion. So for people who don't know, if there's any new gamers in the chat, you can have up to three perks on your character. So I'm starting out with no gear. This is like basically not the default gear, but just stuff that I had. Uh, I, I just wanted to keep this fashion. The reason why I waited to rep eight. Because rep 8 is when you start getting guaranteed legendary tier gear. This is the legendary gear, the teal, that teal color. And that's what you want. I mean, you can get perks. Like, every every piece of gear has perks. But you see the values go higher as the rarity gets higher. So you can see here, like, 260 and 120 max for each perk here. Yellow, a little bit less than that, but still better. You can get up to 240 on this yellow. Which is better than the gray, etc. So you can get you can get perks at any time, but I just prefer waiting till uh, eight because then I way I can finalize my fashion and finalize my um, perks all in one shot. Because you're gonna want to change things around, transmog, spend your steel, spend your salvage, all that shit. So here are the perks. You start out with one by default, so that's all your gray gear. So then you're gonna want to decide which perks that you want, and you can get three. Remember, as long as they're different. Um, actually, no, it doesn't really matter. So you can get three three different perks. So I'm going to be going for... Um, I'm going to be going for... Vengeful Barrier. And Bulk Up. Only because... I used a tier 3 that gives you damage mitigation already. So Bastion doesn't make sense, but Bastion is a great perk. You should probably use it on almost every hero. And same for Vengeful Barrier if you're a heavy. You see each piece of gear has two perks. So now you need to just put the puzzle together until you can fill up all these bars here on the left. So you see here my Aegis is already filled up, but my Vengeful Barrier is a little bit. My bulk up's even lower than that. And this it shows you if I was to equip this gear. So this is what it is normally. If I equip this gear, it will show you like what the values would be. You want the values to be at 600. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just open up a bunch of crates and get just a whole bunch of different gear. I have 25 saved up, and then we're just gonna get a whole bunch of different rolls because each time you get a piece of gear, you have two different perks on it. So we're just gonna open up a bunch of these and hopefully get a good fashion too. And then I'm gonna catch up with chat. Can I explain refined gear? Absolutely, yeah. So refined gear basically gives you more. Let's see if I can actually get one. I'm sure I'll get some refined gear. But basically it's like it goes like you can max out. Um, like gear that's not refined, you only can max it out to a certain point. But refined gear lets you go another step past the perk. So you see here, like, so this 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 screen right here, for example. So you see the ventral barrier is 220 out of 260. So I would upgrade it to get to 260, but uh, refined will allow you to go even further than that. So it gives you even more points for one perk that you want. So it's really only good if you're really desperate for a perk and you don't want to like search through all the gear if you want to spend. But when you you'll see when you upgrade, when you upgrade something, you upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. But then when you get to the point to refine, it'll say refine instead of upgrade, and that costs more steel and resources. So I don't refine any of my gear. Like anytime I get to a point where I'm upgrading a perk, I'll show you guys what I'm demonstrating. Like once I get it all, the uh, refined is so expensive. You're better off just upgrading other pieces of your gear that have that perk, and then you'll still get the max, you know, points that you need without having to spend the extra. Well, I probably I misspoke. So shields up is what I want. Aegis. Um, damn, I thought I had shields up this whole time. Fuck. Yeah, so I got the, I got the names mixed up. Shields up is what I want. Because Aegis, you're not really receiving shields. Your tier 1 gives you a shield for the duration of your execution. So there's really no reason for you to extend that. Like, shields increase. Like, if somebody gives you a shield or you, like, pick up a perk or something, or a, a boost or something, that'll give it to you. But Aegis doesn't really make sense. Normally, you'd want to stack Aegis and shields up. But since this is a heavy... He has other perk options like Ventral Barrier and, and better ones, so we're not going to worry about that. Usually you'd want to stack Aegis and Shields up um, because this, that's like more of like a Vanguard perk and they don't really have 
any other really good perks that I can think of. But for, for our purposes, we're going to want shields up, eventual barrier, and bulk up. So my bad for the mistake there. So now we're just going to go through. So you see here, we have two perks for each. So I'm basically just going to want to find um, what I want. So I want shields up. Shields up, ventral barrier on one piece of gear, and it's the helmet that I actually want too. So we're gonna hold on to that. We're gonna equip that. So once you equip it, you can see what it does to your stats overall. So you see here, we're we're starting to get off of that Aegis. We're going more than the shields up. So I'm gonna keep going through here. That's ventral barrier, fresh focus, not ideal. The ideal scenario is that you have two perks that you want on one piece of gear. So I don't think I have anything better than shields up, ventral barrier now. So I'm gonna make room here. Now what might happen is that you might end up like, you might get to a point where you get really heavy in one perk, like you have like a lot of points in one perk and then you can like actually sacrifice pieces of gear to like do something else so you can do like an unoptimal one, so like have like one perk you want and one perk you don't want and then you just upgrade that one perk, but you'll probably see that later, it might happen here. Um, so we're going through, Aegis, Vengeful Barrier, it's not what we want, we don't want Agents. Bastion, Vengeful Barrier, we don't want that, Aegis. I gotta make sure I got the names right. Shields up is what I want, not Aegis, okay. So Shields up, Ventral Barrier, another ideal scenario there. That's good. Aegis, Shields up, that's no good. Shields up, Ventral Barrier. Now we can compare. So we have Shields up, 100 out of 120. Ventral Barrier, 200 out of 260. This is basically the reverse. So it gives you Shields up higher and Ventral Brick lower. That's usually how the perks break down. So I'm actually going to keep that one just in case I need to mess it around, mess around with it a little later. We don't need that one. So we'll keep that just in case we need to mess around. And we'll get rid of that. We don't need any of these. Bastion Ventral Barrier. I'm, I'm like tripping myself out because Bastion is almost always a perk I want. So I keep seeing it. I'm like, oh, I don't want that. I'm lying to myself. Alright, Aegis. And I got to remember the fucking name of the shield perks. God damn it. Did I equip what I wanted? What, where am I at here? Okay, so this is what I want. Shields up, Ventral Barrier. Okay. Very, very convoluted, all this. All right, so we'll clear that out for now. We got we got two options. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I deleted something I didn't want to. So we got two options here. If we need if we need to mess around with the, the perk points, you'll see why that matters later. It's good to have different roles instead of just deleting everything because you might end up in a situation where you're like, oh, I just need a little bit more of this, not this, and you got to mix and match. It's really like putting a puzzle together, really. That's how I explain it. Um, all right, Bastion, Shields Up, Ventral Barrier. That's another good one, ideal. So you can see here, we just, so all that mis mis like mismatching with gear, now instead of having Aegis, we got Shields Up maxed out. And we're on our way for Ventral Barrier. So, so far so good. But we have nothing for bulk up yet. And that's going to be a problem. So we're going to have to figure that out um, as we go on. But right now we're just we're just trying to find the best gear with the best rolls. And then we'll kind of find out what we need after the fact. So we'll keep that for now. I don't think I need all these. What is this? Bulk up? What is this? Shields up? Ventral Barrier. So you see here I have 760 on the Shields up. So if I, and, and we were actually fat on Ventral Barrier as well. So I could theoretically, see, I could, I could theoretically, like, instead of having two optimal perks, I could sacrifice this one piece to give me more points and bulk up. And then, like, I'm only at 560 on shields up, which is easy to close the distance on. And I'm down to 740 on the Bastion. So not the worst thing in the world. That's why we, that's why we kept the roll. Have, so I can then, like, once, see, this is, this is where it gets 200 IQ. Once you have the perks you want, then you got to worry about the fashion sun, because we're not done yet. Well, let's get these perks first, then we'll worry about it. Okay, so where we left off, we were, we were looking pretty good. Shields up is right in touching distance, so we can just upgrade that. And what I mean by upgrade, let me just show you right now. So you see how there's like a little wheel that says two, 220 out of 260. So that means you can spend salvage and steel to level it up a little bit and give you more points towards that. So like, it's not always going to be that you're going to just select the gear and have your perks. You basically just want to get it as close as you can. So that way you don't have to spend too much money to upgrade. Um, too much steel, not money. Um, don't buy steel. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. We'll, let's just see how we're stacking up here. Good, good, don't really need that. And remember, I'm not worrying about fashion. I'm worrying about perks because we can always change the look of the gear that has the perks that we want. So don't worry about deleting anything. You can always, you can always retrieve it once you have it unlocked. Like once you have it in inventory, you can always trans transmog any of your gear to look like that. Um, okay, I don't need that. 
Shields up, bulk up. So, I mean, we're getting close. We just need, like... Do you see here? The, the helmet I have right now is shields up and ventral barrier. Shields up is at 220, ventral barrier is at 80. But I just got a roll that has shields up at 220 and ventral barrier at 100. So might as well switch to that. Because then I only need to spend uh, upgrade once to get it maxed out. Whereas this one I would have to spend multiple to get it maxed out. So now we're a little, without spending any extra steel, we are a little closer to maxing that out. So Bastion's pretty high. Shields up, we could probably upgrade any of the gear we have now to get closer to it. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can make this even better. So we could do a shields up and a bulk up. And we would lose 10, but we, we, would, we would take care of shields up. And we'll still be able to max everything out to get bulk up. So I think we've pretty much solved the puzzle here, guys. So just to recap, I had, I had this helmet, which was ideal for the perks I wanted, but since I needed more bulk up, I sacrificed it to get a 130 bulk up, and then I was able to make up the difference elsewhere, because now I can upgrade and get what I want. So let's just, let's upgrade all our bulk ups right now. Remember, we don't want to refine, we just want to upgrade. I don't think I have any refined gear at the moment. There we go. There's bulk up. See, we're, we're getting we're getting closer here. Um, the good news is we don't have to upgrade ventral barrier very much. It's really just going to be about bulk up. And it does cost quite a bit of steel as well. But we got steel, so we're not broke. We ain't broke out here. I don't speak broke. We got the two for one here, so we're gonna upgrade Ventral Barrier one more time. Boom, that got us maxed out to where we needed to be. Now we're just gonna spend the rest of our money here and bulk up. Now these la the, the purple, the yellow, and the teal perks are always gonna be the ones that are harder to, to get rolls on. They're gonna be the lowest stat values and you're gonna have to spend to get them up. So that's why you saw me earlier when I was getting getting armor I was keeping even if the second perk wasn't good I was keeping anything that had bulk up for situations like these where I needed to you know get more points in that area so we're three upgrades away and this is gonna be it so we really have to this is actually the first time I've had to um, upgrade this much gear usually I'm able to and again I like I don't really go for bulk up very often so usually uh, maybe I would go for like two grays and a blue or something which is really easy so going, committing to like a, a teal, purple, or, or yellow will we'll cost you a little bit more. So you see here, now we're good. We got all the perks that we wanted. And like I said, we had, to, we had to sacrifice a little bit. Like we have a fresh focus and bulk up, which isn't ideal, but when, we, when you're tallying up the points, it, it made the difference. And remember, that little yellow bar will show you, like, if you were to upgrade all the gear that you had, how far you would be. So you can kind of use that as a gauge. Like you want to, you want to basically get that bar as close as you can, and then you want to consider the yellow bar. So we're all good here. So we're gonna get rid of everything else. Remember, fashion doesn't matter right now. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and get the fashion. So this is how I look right now. Ugly, like just a whole bunch of different things going on. But the, but the perks are good. So now we're gonna go ahead and, and get all these looking right so you change look I want the executioner helm the North Star helm but it's executioner hood to me uh, let's see for this I'm honestly kind of so we got the axe head I have more pieces for for the for this one I mean what's your guys favorite I, I, I personally like this one but this one this one looks like looks menacing as hell It sounds real Naruto. <laughs> this one's cool, but it's not my style. All right, let me uh, let me open up a few more crates and see if we can um, get the uh, weapon. 
I'm gonna save the scavengers. I'm gonna just open these up and see if I can get get the rolls on them. Oh, I think we just got the Ayakashi. Oh no, we did. Yo, first roll, boys. Let's go, man. RNG. Can I get that blessed RNG in the chat right now? Holy shit. I got it like that, bro. Let's go. That, that's a fa that's a fashion, boys. Bless RNG, bro. Do me right. I mean, the pommel doesn't look good. It's a fucking weird ass head, but it, it matches, you know. We'll, we'll, we'll go for the set. <laughs> it's it's kind of trolly. I mean, honestly, I think anything would look good at the bottom of this axe because. But we, yeah, but we, we gotta go with the bless RNG here. We're in there, boys. Easy fucking gaming. Easy fashion. Easy, easy, easy. Now I use everybody. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Thanks for everyone for hanging out. I hope that was helpful for any of you guys who didn't know what the um, uh, like perks were all about. But um, but yeah, that's it. That's how you that's how you uh, perk out something from starting from nothing. Now we're good to go. Now our now our Hitto carry is gonna be a lot harder to kill. I was playing eight reps with like a terrible perk, so I'm actually kind of excited to play Hitto carry again because now I'm gonna now I'm looking good and uh, and I'm gonna have the perks as well. <laughs>